Well, I'm up here above the glen, just uh, below Dumblen, and as you can see, it's pretty wintry up here yet. This is the 24th of January 2013, and I'm just up looking for the red squirrels, deer foxes, mountain hares, there should be a few hares about, and we're up high enough here, about to come down from Sheriff Muir maybe, but as you can see, it's all snow on the ground, but it's lovely, look at the view behind me, I just swing the camera around. that is in it and the hills at the back it's looking up towards uh, our private beat on the upper fourth at Cambus Jenny that's the two hills away in the background so let's see I've seen a few prints of deer light but not much significant other than that so I'll get the binoculars out and have a little scan a bit what's about. It's still still in castle beyond those trees there. And this is looking up towards the two hills. Key roundabout there in the middle. That's part of the Kippendavia estate there. And then this is looking on to the city of Dumblin where I stay. And beyond. Lovely. Well, I'm on the trail. It's something. I think it's uh, it's not a rabbit. I think it's a hare and a roe deer. I'll just show you the tracks. Now, if you can look, that one over there, the bigger ones, that's a line of roe deer tracks, and this one here next to it is a sign of the hair that I think it is. The reason for that is because if you look there you can see the two hind legs and they're quite wide in length anyway and it's been sitting there but that's a sure sign of a hair too broad in length uh, hind legs so the deer goes off that way and the hare I think it's away into the golf course. Uh, so I'll keep I'll keep following them just to see. I just spotted a deer, not the one I'm following like but I'll just try and zoom into it. Let's like see it for a good distance away. It's just a little blob there just beside the white snow in that clearing. I don't know if you can see it. Just a blob. I need a more powerful camera. But in the distance I can also hear... I don't know if you just heard it there, a woodpecker. So I'm trying to find a position to spot that as well. It's coming for this area. I'll stop talking now just to see if you can hear it. Nothing yet. Plenty of crows. Always look out for ravens or crows on the ground because they could be feeding off a carcass and if you get crows and ravens you also get, as I've said before the, the birds of prey anyway typical the woodpecker stopped the new but I'll try and get a bit closer to it ok just as I stopped filming there 
as you look on the branch above there, that wee speck at the top, the uh, highest branch there, is the woodpecker. Well, it's another one that's came in. The other woodpecker's still drumming on a tree, but it's called this one in at the top, so let's see if I can get a bit closer. It's just like a wee speck on camera light, but that's my camera on full zoom, but that's definitely uh, a woodpecker, so I'm going to go closer to see where it is, what, what uh, species it is. That's what happens when you're looking for other species of wildlife, you come across something completely different. That's amazing. We've got a nice shot there of the woodpecker. When I heard that drumming sound on the tree, that was attracting a mate. And it certainly did because, lo and behold, at the top of the tree is the one woodpecker I took the picture of. That's magic. I've just seen a bird of prey over here on a tree quite a distance away, so I'm using these logs to hide behind and go and see if I can get a good shot. I also got a nice shot back there on the log, yeah, Robin with its red breast. So things are looking okay today. I'm getting quite a few species. Uh, I've not seen the hare yet, and I've not seen the fox that I'm out looking for, so it might still come. Water trough is frozen solid. Break it up so the deer can get a drink and the birds. Oh. That's all you need to do. I just left those pieces out. see the fox visually but I've got some tracks the one that'll show you what to look out for. These ones here. This one here is a bit better as you can see the claw marks in it and that but that's a fox. That's what to look out for in the snow for a fox and he goes away up there and away into the Golf course, so and he's came for a way down the bottom there. He's going through this field anyway. So at least I've seen some tracks. The one. This one, at my guess, is a a stoat uh, tracks in the snow. As you know, a stoat's very light, uh, so it doesn't go deep into the snow. So. They actually walk on top of the snow, but you can see it's left tracks, but they're, at, they're like dirty tracks because he's been up there in the dirt and he's came down that way. There's the tracks there. Oh, what you see them down there, you can see them in the, the light there better, but there they are. There. Dirty paw prints. All the way down. See the little steps all the way down. There's a little claw marks there, see them? Oh, the mud. He's crossed over that track. Oh well, at least I know where to come and look for stoats. <laughs> And as you can see, as the exercise of today was, 
how easy it is to track all the different species. There's a bird there as well, look. Has been a crow or a seagull, but my suspects will be a crow's track. Yeah. But the pur exercise and purpose of today's film was to let you see how you can track wildlife easy in the snow and it gives you an idea what's in your area.